It's her talk. Little Lee Morton. Um, thank you again to the league and thank you again to everybody in the audience. Um, we've got farce and we've got drum. How about nonfiction? Remember what I said at the beginning. I hope you've considered it tonight. I hope you'll consider it the rest of the campaign. Judge people not only by what they say, but what they've thought for all along, what they've done all along. And I think you folks know the things I've stood for, the things I've fought for, and the things I've accomplished in two terms on the city council. We talked a little bit about dysfunction and dishonesty. Many of you know that I campaigned my first time on a platform of ethics reform, and in fact wrote, and this city adopted, what the New York Times called the toughest ethics code in the state of New York. An ethics code that incidentally, in part, led to the indictments that came out of the Ridge Hill development. You know that I was willing, as Rob Astorino called it last week, to crack a few eggs. And I certainly cracked a few on Ridge Hill. Um, I don't think the choice could be clearer. At the time that I was in court with 45 taxpayers in this city, and I was the lead attorney, fighting that development, Mr. Spano took a two-year leave of absence to lobby on behalf of the developer. The distinctions are clear. You know, as I said, that every year when that budget comes across my desk, we do eliminate all the waste we can. We do cut those taxes. Others talk about what they'll do to get rid of systemic waste come January 1. Well, that budget's online, and that budget's available in City Hall, and that budget's available in every library. You don't have to wait till January 1 to look at the budget. If, if you really want to eliminate waste, you can tell us now. You know what I've done. You know what I stand for. You know what I have fought for. If you honor me and trust me with the office of the mayor, uh, you know what direction I will fight to take this in the end. And I thank you.